Okay, I am going to do a detailed video on the Acropovic dual undertail full titanium exhaust. I had some people on Facebook in the Panigale um, group that I'm in have some questions about detailed views and also on some of the videos I had some people asking. So just wanted to show you first from the uh, front, that's what you're going to see just a little bit sticking out on each side there. And then when we come around the side, you'll see that first wheelbarrow handle as they call it. What it does underneath is it gets rid of, of course, the big pan that's down there of an exhaust and replaces it with these little black, it's actually one piece, kind of a V shape that covers both sides there. Um, and what's really neat is as you can see, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, what little I've driven it, you can already start to see some of that color hewn coming through on that titanium. Um, from the dealer, you can see those little bit of scratches right there and right there. That part came like that and uh, it was actually scratched a lot worse than that and they were going to get another part and replace it. Uh, the installer that installed this exhaust at the dealership did a great job of buffing this out to where you can just barely lightly see some of these. It's actually showing up more here than what it normally does. Um, but I, I told him, don't worry about it. It looks great. Um, you're going to get stone chips and stuff like that. I'm, I'm good with that. Um, on the exhaust itself, it does come with uh, carbon fiber also for heat shields. The uh, mounts mount to the uh, rear pegs for the rear foot pegs for the passenger. I should say passenger foot pegs. Um, one of these days, my wife says she might ride with me. Well, that, that may be yet to be seen. But uh, if she does, what I'm going to do is go to a machine shop, have them build one of these, but flip this so it'll kind of come out and hit it from the backside and leave this open. See if there's a way to get those pegs still on there. Um, should be able to be done that way. On the back, one thing you'll notice. Um, first off, I do have the Futures Moto tail tidy. Um, and I realized this has nothing to do with the quality of the Futures Moto. It's my own fault. They actually supply thread lock with the uh, install kit. I didn't use the thread lock because I wanted to put this on. I ordered both the uh, tucked and the 90 degree. And I put this one on first and didn't thread lock it because I wasn't sure if that's what I wanted. Then I forgot to go back in and thread lock it. So it did come out. Looks like I lost that screw in there. Again, nothing to do with the quality of that Futurist Moto because that is a quality, quality tail tidy. Um, one thing you'll notice in this exhaust is it does not have the DB killers in it. The DB killers do come with the kit um, and they are marked, if we can see this, right there it's marked left side and then the other one has an R for the right side. Um, it has one spot that it screws into and that is right here on the bottom it actually has a uh, rubber grommet that covers up the hole that the screw will go through to screw into this to hold that db killer in it would slide right in there like that and the reason they mark it left side right side is as you can see the uh, pipe in there is deflected to the outside away from the bike. And if you look at the right side, the uh, right side has the R on it, like I said. And when you line that hole up with the bottom, you'll see that that one also deflects then to the outside of the bike. Um, so uh, I won't be putting the DB killers in just because I do not have the screw that holds those in. And uh, I just love the the crazy sound that comes with this without the db killers but one of the questions i got was how much space is around the number plate as they called it or license plate as we do i think that was a european phrase is number plate but uh there is some good clearance there um you've got i've got chubby fingers and i've got probably two fingers on each side of this plate roughly so you do get some good clearance there um the uh, mechanic, Justin, at Ray Hall Ducati of Indianapolis, um, one thing that he did that you want to make sure your installer does or if you're installing them yourself, um, one of the things he did that he said he used some kind of a real light um, abrasive pad 
and some kind of uh, like a WD-40 or some kind of a, a thing like that. And he lightly etched the outside of this. And he said the reason for that, he said, if you don't, then the... Uh, um, the coloring will actually come blotchy. It'll kind of be blotchy on there versus smooth filling in of that color. So I'm telling you, Ray Hall, Ducati, Indianapolis, all the guys there are great. Justin knows his motorcycles. I'll tell you, he knows those Ducatis and loves them. You know, my wife did a great job of explaining um, his title. It shouldn't be mechanic. It should be artist. I mean, that guy is just amazing when it comes to these, these uh, vehicles. So... Um, the right side then is where the majority of the exhaust comes from. You'll see I'm starting to get a little bit more color on this tube right down there. Yesterday, um, I'll be posting several videos here on this account later, but yesterday when I picked this up, I went straight to uh, Lucas Oil Raceway in Indianapolis and drag raced this two times for the first two times of my life. It was embarrassing because I sucked, but I've got a lot to learn, so I think the next ones will be will be much better. Um, one of the other things that, that this kit comes with is a smaller heel guard for the right side so that it doesn't hit this. Uh, one of the things that they did at Ducati is, unfortunately, in the kit, the heel guard that they sent was a silver one for the 21s and below, um, and they tried to paint it. They didn't like the way it looked. So they're going to order the black one and what he did to take care of that for now. Um, again, he really cares about these bikes as if they're his own. So he put a pad behind this and then also put a protective, um, coating behind that, as you can see, so that when this does hit, if that pad fails, it's going to protect that anyway. Um, so with the kit, you should get the uh, smaller heel guard. And then also, of course, this is carbon fiber. The new exhaust cover on the side here is different. Um, carbon fiber on the side and your little plate that tells you it's titanium. Um, and then that V part down at the bottom just gets on this side too. And you'll see where that color is going through. And it is a smooth color like, like Justin suggested it would be because of his method that he uses when he installs it. So... Um, Again, the reason I'm doing this kind of questions and also if you're like me waiting on your bike or waiting on your exhaust You're looking online for anything you can to just get as many close-ups as many views as you can And that's why I wanted to provide this along with the reason of the questions, but it is a beautiful exhaust. It sounds freaking amazing um, I can't think of anything else that somebody may want to see on this exhaust if there is just let me know in the uh, in the comments and give me your email address and uh, I will email you the pictures that you're looking for but again just wanted to get all of these angles for you and uh, and then fire this up and give you some good sound with it too here in a second but that is a beautiful beautiful look man I just love the look of that exhaust that exhaust um, from the time the 2018 final edition came out with the dual undertail Acropovic just like this that's what really made me love the 2018 final edition and just wasn't able to get one that year um so when the 22 came out with this option i knew that this was exactly the bike i was going to be getting so um feel blessed that um, um everything worked out to where i can and uh what i'll do now is fire this up for you and let you hear this beautiful thing um, also, one of the other questions I had was, uh, when the screen turns on, does it say Racing Evo or Racing Pro? Um, I don't remember seeing anything on it. It must have said Racing Evo at the beginning. Um, but the uh, um, dealership, I was asking them what the difference is. And the dealership said it basically just shows the new up map that they put on with the exhaust. Um, when the exhaust is added, they put on an up map that helps the performance because it does add horsepower and performance to the bike. So now when you turn this on, what it says is it'll come on and say racing pro right there. You'll see. And once it's on, I'm going to let you hear that. I don't know why my lap counter keeps going. I hit a button last night on the way home that makes my lap counter keep going. There it goes. Um, let's get this thing fired up. Put your earplugs in. If you have ear, not earplugs. If you have earphones, put those in, and you will get the best sound from this exhaust. You'll really get a good idea of what it sounds like. 
I'm gonna get some good uh, idle sound here. Then I've got someone to hold my phone so I can rev this and you can hear it. This is an amazing sound. That smoke that you'll see a little bit, the dealer told me you'll get some of that smoke while it's new because it's burning off some of the stuff that's from the exhaust. This thing's been on my bike for, uh, has been used for less than 24 hours, so it probably still has some breaking in to do and getting that out of there. I'm gonna hand this phone off and let you hear this call. have any more questions on angles pictures views anything else that you want to see that i didn't cover um go ahead and and comment below um and put your email in the comment section and i'll send you the picture or whatever you're looking for but uh other than that that should be it thanks for watching and i will post some videos of me at Re lucas oil raceway on the uh quarter mile um, just so you can get some good laughs. I uh, got beat pretty bad, but it was my first time. It was my first time, first two times ever racing on there. So all I'm going to do is just get better and better. I uh, Takeoffs were my issue. And the second race, um, I didn't do what Justin at Ducati said. He said, hey, just concentrate on you. Don't worry about beating the guy next to you. And when I pulled up to the line and I was against a Camaro, I even say in the video, oh, at least I'm going to win this one. And I was already thinking of winning. And wasn't concentrating on my takeoff. And uh, most embarrassing thing, I stalled it on the takeoff. But man, this thing is such a beast. I was able to get it restarted and still almost catch that or coming close to catch that Camaro. So great time. But again, thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye out for these videos. Take care. Bye-bye.